it's amazing how games and sports bring people together and soothe the savage beast. The only time I can remember in my parents' twilight years that they actually got along, that they weren't bickering, was when they were watching pirate baseball. My mother knew every player. She knew their stats. She sat there and yelled at the TV as if she was in the stadium. And she was a fan. Of course, my dad, he'd grown up through the Depression like my mom, and they loved baseball. It was America's team, America's game. So, my mother had to have a hip replacement, and she was depressed. She was going to be bedridden for 30 days, and she had nothing to look forward to. I'm living in Massachusetts. How can I help her? I says, Mom, let me get a poppy and maid to come in and help out, you know, once a week. And, of course, her response no woman's coming in my kitchen. Well, what am I going to do? I've got to be creative. I'm here, she's there, I can't do anything right away. I thought, you know, if I got them tickets to a game, they'd have something to look forward to. But you know Depression-era parents. Keep your money. Save it for yourself. They will never let their children help them. I had to find somebody who they could not say no to. I did not know his name. But I wrote the Pittsburgh Press. Actually, I called them. I says, who's the coach of the Pirates? And they said, some guy named Jim Leland. I says, cool. And I got the address of the Pirates, and I wrote him a letter. I told him that my mother was taking care of a cerebral palsy child, her aunt who'd had a stroke, my father who'd had a triple bypass, and she was having a hip replacement all in one house. I poured it on. It was true, but I told the story. And I sent the letter. A week later, I get a phone call. I'd totally forgotten about it. Some guy with his gravelly voice, rawr, rawr, rawr. I says, I'm sorry, sir. What supplier are you with? He says, this is Jim Leland with the Pittsburgh Pirates. <gasps> my heart was in my throat. I didn't know how to talk. I says, hi, thinking that was a really clever response. And I said, how are you doing? And he says, I'm fine. You would like me to invite your mother to a game? I says, I most certainly would. He says, you want me to write her a letter? I says, would you please? And he says, how about if I call her? Well, instantly I know he doesn't like to write letters, but I'm thinking, yeah, that's really cool. So he says, sure, I'll give her a call. And I gave him the number, and we started talking. I says, he says, how many tickets do you need? And I says, sir, this is not charity. I'm paying for the tickets. I'm providing everything, transportation. I just need somebody to ask her. And he says, nah, nah, the tickets are on me. How many do you need? I'm thinking 50, 60. <laughs> All right, all right, give me four tickets. My sister and her husband can take them in. I just am not going to get back 600 miles. I'm not going to make it. So uh, I get off the phone, and I'm calling my brother-in-law, trying to tell him what's going on. Meanwhile, he calls my mother. We had a phone beside the bed for her. She picks up the phone. Now my mother has passed, and we will never know how he convinced her this was not a prank call. <laughs> but she was convinced. Somehow. Jim Leland got it across that he was a real deal. He says, Louise, I hear you're a great pirate fan. She says, I am. I know all the players' stats and everything. And he says, well, I'd like to invite you to a game. I can't come to a game. I just had a hip replacement. He says, I know. How do you know? <laughs> Your son told me. Ah, now she's on the program. Everything's cool. And so he says, look, here's what will happen. You call this phone number in a month and there'll be four tickets waiting for you. And she said, thank you, and they talked and hung up. I had already accomplished everything I had intended to accomplish. She had something to look forward to. And the month went by. Now, my mother calls. Wasn't he in the same room with the operator? Takes the phone out of the operator's hand, talks to her like they're old buds. My parents got to go see a game on a Sunday they sat three rows behind home plate on the day they clinched the division. <laughs> Cost me 32 cents. <laughs> now this story had become legend in the Senior Citizen Center because I wasn't, I didn't want the pirates so overwhelmed with hard luck stories, but it did get around. And when my parents had their 50th, the old ladies at the center sent a letter to Jim Leland out in Colorado and he sent them a card. What a class act. How often do we get a chance to pay our parents back? 